Hello and welcome everybody to Rogue Tower. A oh, uh, how's the best? To, it's another it's another tower. Tower building rogue with rogue like elements. Rogue light, rogue like. Um, one of you lovely subscribers uh, suggested this to me, and uh, so I bought it. Um, I know the Steam Lunar Sale is going on right now. This wasn't on sale, but I I figured uh, hell I'm always looking for something new to play, so I bought it to you know try it out and see. Uh, if I would like it, and holy shit, this game is awesome. So it's got elements of both. Um, there is meta progress. Uh, how, how best to describe it? So it is a tower building game. You're defending this tower here, your rogue, your rogue tower, I guess. But uh, you also have meta progress. So as you progress, you get upgrades, which you can spend on uh, new towers, all kinds of other like fantastic things. Um, I literally, uh, last night at, like, 10 o'clock, um, all of my friends, like, uh, left to go to bed, and so I, uh, I decided I would plug in and try this game, and before I knew it, it was 1 o'clock in the morning, and I had to go to bed. But, uh, we do get XP, and we can use that XP to unlock, um, upgrades for our towers, these cards here, these upgrade cards, which we'll actually get during the game, um, every... I don't remember how many it is, like every four rounds or something like that, we'll get to pick an upgrade card. So in that case, it's kind of like a, a deck builder of sorts. And then there's permanent upgrades that we can unlock after, you know, getting so many so many cards, but we have to get it with uh, experience. So we have to spend experience that we earn during the game to unlock all these towers. And I had a blast with this. Um, as is Kind of as is tradition, if you want to see more of the series, please leave a like. I... I do a lot of, I do a lot of my, uh, my video planning based off of uh, light counts, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. You know, it's uh, feel, it feels pretty good. I wake up in the morning, I see a few, see a few extra subscribers, so you know, uh, feel good about supporting small YouTube. So let's go ahead and play a play a game. As you can see here, I've I've reset all of my progress because I figured that'd be fair, and we're just going to do a single defense. So the premise is very very simple. Place towers, defend. <laughs> it... So here I have just like a single ballista. I'm going to put it down. And I can click into it and see all the ba all the damage that it's doing. Base damers, damage, armor multipliers. Uh, your ballistas are definitely better against health than they are against shield and armor. I can also set priorities for these two attacks. So, you know, most shield, most armor, most health, near death, progress, that sort of thing. But for this first level, it's just a single enemy that's going to attack me. I'm just going to place down one Basilista, hit the expand button, and that'll kind of start the wave. And that's the wave. <laughs> so I can place down another Ballista, and uh, you'll notice that there is sort of, uh, there is like some dimension to this game. You know, I have landscape here. So if I place my Ballista, my ballista on the base ground like this you can see i get x amount of range but as i place it up higher i get more range so plus one to the range plus two all the way to plus three so uh i am going to do a plus three look how much greater that range is and we're going to expand on this one too. so the the ballistas do fire really really slowly so it definitely is best to take advantage of the range of that range upgrade. And you notice as I'm hitting expanding, expand, the map is getting bigger. So the, the path is getting longer that uh, enemies are uh, uh, taking to try and kill us. I hit expand again. We got another wave here. And uh, you can see here the green bars represent how much health they have. Ooh. Um, these guys might actually get to the tower. I would like to not have that happen. Ooh, my uh, tower leveled up there. Ooh, and we get our first card here. So I get, so as we get permanent upgrades, I can get, uh, I can get access to. I'll have more cards on this screen, or this card screen happens sooner. Uh, mana bolts. So uh, there is mana in this game. I don't have access to any buildings that can do mana yet, but my ballistas will consume a small amount of mana and gain plus three base damage. This is really a good upgrade. Um, quality over quantity, all towers gain crit chance equal to their level, but lose one base damage. Or I get the mortar. Launch an explosive shell over a distance. 
I'm gonna do the Mortar. The Mortar's really, really good AoE. I'm gonna place the Mortar here where we're gonna get plus three. Look at that range. Now my Mortar, I'm gonna tell it to target with the most health, then the most armor, then the most shield. Now, uh, what am I gonna say here? You notice that this uh, tower leveled up? Because it was doing a lot more health damage, it leveled up its health multiplier. So you can tell uh, turrets to you can tell turrets to target more armor, and they'll level up their armor ability to shred armor more. Tell them to target shields. It'll level up their ability to target shields. Level up uh, uh, health, or tell them to target health, and they'll do more damage to health. It's really really cool. Now these turrets back here, I'm not telling them to really do that. I just want them to focus whatever's progressing closer. However, this one up here. I will tell it to first target armor, then health, then the shield, and we'll expand. And you can see that uh, that uh, turret or the mortar just does an obscene amount of damage. The AO on it is super good, and it's got really good range since. We put it on top of this mountain here. I'm going to expand one more. Okay, so there is a curve. There is a curve there. I right, will put a mortar here. I'm going to have a target most armor, then most health, and have this one do most health. Uh, the goal is to is to try not to get your your towers to all target the same thing. To kind of spread damage around. Um, you'll notice that they all attack fairly slowly. So you really want to optimize the uh, amount of damage. And then we here have a have a uh, mine, an iron vein. So we can use, so we can place a, a mine, we can unlock a mine later, place it next to it to gain, to gather resources from it. And I think the iron you use to repair your tur tower if it takes damage. And there we have a mana crystal. So we can place a mana siphon next to it to get mana. We can also make it to the upgrade to the point where our tower will just generate mana. Ooh, and our first house. I'll explain that after this wave ends here. Yeah, this these turret, these orders are just monstrous units. Oh, and this one leveled up here, so now it's dealing more damage to uh, armor. Now these are just. I love the. Uh, I love the martyrs. They just do so much good damage. Oh, here's something. So we can get a Tesla coil, use mana to electrify nearby enemies. The Tesla coils aren't that good. I could have also been using them wrong, but we also don't have any mana either. Or we can do frost bolts. So all ballistas will gain a 5% slow. I'm going to do the frost bolts. That's been really handy. And then you'll notice here there's a house. So if we build towers next to it, we'll actually get gold from them over time. So we're on wave 7, so we'll get 7 gold from this. So it's a, it's kind of a nice way to, uh, you know, just refund some of your tower cost. If you're going to place a tower here any, around this area anyways, place it next to a house. Get more money. Ooh, nailed that one. I'm going to have this one focus most, uh, most armor, most shield, and then progress. I want this thing to be eating through. Actually, I want this to be targeting most health, because it's going to deal uh, more health damage than most shield. Do you see that little blue bar underneath there? That was, uh, that was slow kicking in. Are we going to stop them all? Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be close. expanding out that way. Let's put a mortar here. And that's going to cover a nice big chunk of the map. And uh, you're focusing armor, you're focusing... I'll have you focus health. And then armor. So at some point, these paths are going to divert, and we're going to be able to expand in multiple directions. Um, I don't think we've encountered that quite yet. 
Oh yeah, we haven't encountered that yet. We should be getting a boss wave here in the next couple of uh, uh, rounds. Waves? Waves, I'm going to call it. Levels. So what I'm going to do, I've been a little bit too lax with my defense, in all honesty. So I will put a another mortar here. Though I can't afford a mortar. Let's do a... Ballista here. Get that corner of the map going. How much gold have we gained from this? So we've gained 24 gold just from this house here. It's kind of awesome. Big damage? Yeah, big damage. Yeah, you really can't compete with mortars. I love the mortars to death. I think they are, like, my favorite unit right now. So right here is, like, a kill lane. So we got three mortars all within range of this alley. What I might want to do is place a whole bunch of ballistas to slow the enemies through here to maximize the damage that they do end up taking from the mortars. That guy, I don't know if you noticed, but that guy was getting pretty slow. I could build a mana siphon and siphon manas from crystals. Would be... But I can't guarantee that I'm going to get a card that's going to allow for mana. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna grab the concussive shells. All mortars deal plus one damage to armor. I do have a lot of mortars. Yeah, that's pretty, that's looking pretty good. Ooh, there we go. So we got paths diverting here. I'll be able to expand in one of these two directions. A lot of small enemies, uh, still a small wave. We'll probably place a mortar right around here. Yeah, mortars are just killing it. Look at that toy. Okay, you can see how slow that uh, enemy's get going. Absolutely crushed them. So what I would like to do long term is get a mortar like right here to cover this uh, uh, this path where the two enemy where the two waves will divert. But I think for just the time being. Um, we will get, be able to get upgrades to money, which is going to be super nice, but we just don't have those upgrades right now. So I am definitely working with a lot less money than I'm used to working with. Like I said, I got three hours into this game and I made a ton of progress. This game is super good at allowing you for meta progress. Oh, the mortars are so meaty. Mm. I love the sound of this game. I know that's a very weird thing to comment on, but I love the sound. Like, all of these ballistas, these mortar shots, they sound like they have actual weight to them. Like, it's meaty. Okay, I'm gonna turn the... There we go. Oh, everything just sounds so meaty. So close. I think one of these guys does like a speed up. Oh, there's all so close. Come on.
Oh. All right. Um. Expand this way. I'm going to keep going that way. I'm trying to save up enough gold for a mortar right here. I think that's a... Uh, that's only a plus two. Yeah, I am saving up enough for a mortar to go right here. Because I'm missing a whole bunch of damage potential right here. It's like the weight of each one of those shots. Like, boom! Another level up. Yeah, you can see how just that 5% slow when the uh, ballista's focus right there. You focusing. You're focusing most health, and you're focusing most armor. Okay. Yeah, look at that slow. So I do... Oh, look at that! This is a new thing. These are uh, siege towers. I didn't think we were... Uh... Yeah, when you uh, kill them, it basically, uh, there's a whole bunch of enemies just kind of chilling in them. So let's deal... Oh, the mana bolts. Alright, I will buy I will get a siphon here, because I've never gotten a siphon before. I'm not gonna place it down right now because hundred gold is still very valuable to me. I will place a mortar here or here. Here. Yeah, that's a pretty good range. And uh, you can focus most health and then most armor and then whatever else you want to do. I just want to get some early damage off on these guys. Even if it's a little bit, that's still a little less that I got to deal down here. And I will place a... Yeah, I'll place one of these down here. Let's do most health. Yeah, just that one mortar just dealing a little bit of extra damage up front there is super valuable. Which kind of goes to show the power that uh, that a single tower has. Because even that little bit of chip damage that it does is super impactful. How comes Kill Alley here? Yeah, I just love this game. I, I will probably be making a full series of this alongside uh, TD Worlds and the occasional Minecraft map. Ooh, that was a good shot. So I have 359 gold. So wave 14 is a boss wave. Wave 14 is a boss wave. I will place another ballista here. Uh, most health. And let's expand down this way. I think wave 14 is supposed to be a boss wave. It's the wave after it's the boss wave. Okay, maybe it's the wave after 14 is the boss wave. So the, the upgrade tree in this map is super, super good, and I can't wait to show this off to you guys. Uh, we're not going to be able to hold out forever. We're doing surprisingly well, but it's just a fact. We're not going to be able to hold out forever with this selection of turrets. I mean, they're good turrets, but... It's, it's not, they're not perfect, uh, unfortunately. And this house has given us back 84 gold already. It's kind of nuts. Oh, God, the mortars are like, the mortars are my second favorite tower as of right now. Uh, there's, we get, there's a really cool saw blade tower that we're going to get later. It's, it's, it's the best. It is best boy. All right. We don't want 
to go now. 500 gold until I can get another mortar, which I'm going to place there. Oh, here's the boss wave. We have a uh, Oogie. So I will place another Ballista here, because I know Oogie is coming. And if we can survive Oogie's wave, we're going to get a lot of, uh, we're going to get a lot of money out of that. We're going to get a lot of uh, experience. Plus, we also get um, credit for, uh, since this is our, our record-setting uh, game right now, we've gotten the furthest we've gotten. We also get bonus experience for that. I do wish more people would target Oogie. Even Mortar would be kind of nice. Oh, we're targeting Oogie. Yeah, look at that. We got him nice and slowed. We're doing decent health damage to him. Although I should have been watching down here because that's not looking good. Uh, most armor, most health. Where's Oogie? All right, yeah, we got Oogie super slowed back here. Now, everything, whatever's left, should be focusing Oogie, so we'll get a really good slow going on him. Yeah, this is basically Kill Alley right here. We got all kinds of... We got all kinds of ballistas slowing him down. This guy's out of crawl. He's not getting through here. Come on. Yeah, each time that turret hits, it's 420 on the, on the mortars. Not even a problem. Nice. Um, let's see here. Mortars gain 25% burn damage. Uh, yeah, that sounds awesome. Oh, we also get some chests from Oogie as well. So if we open that up. Ooh, here we go. Ballistas now consume a small amount of mana and gain plus three base damage. This is super good. What I'll do here is I'll place a mana siphon. And now I generate one mana a second. That does. I'll place a, a few of them here because we're going to use up a lot of mana. That one there. Place that one there. And how much gold? I've got one. Uh, we'll see how well that works. We'll keep expanding this way. Oh, yeah. Let's see the incendiary around. Look at that burn damage. Oh, that's nice. The burn damage is another damage over time, and it's super good. Actually, have I gotten... I don't think I've gotten to use burn damage. How do I know if it's super good? It seems to be super good. Yeah, now my uh, my mortars are doing a lot more damage. That face, man, that face damage from the, uh, the mana is super helpful. That... This might actually have uh, saved the run. We might be going a lot longer now. I'll place another ballista there. I'll let you work on uh, health. What are you working on? You're working on health too. I'll have you work on armor. And then health. Yeah, nothing can even get close now with the burn damage. It's amazing what a single upgrade card can do for your run. I am worried, though, because, yeah, shield enemies are starting to pop up, and we don't have a super good solution for that. They just don't take much damage from us, from any of our of these turrets. Like, none of these towers right here are really good for uh, shield damage, but for shield, and now shield's starting to pop up. But uh, fortunately, this is literally a kill alley, so any singular enemy that makes it through here is going to get super slowed. All right, now we're through his shield. There's the real. There's where the real damage comes in. Yeah, look at that. Even with just two towers slowing him down, it 
really does help. The slow is probably my favorite upgrade as of right now for the ballistas. You can do other things. We can put lead on these bad boys later if we want. I've got not quite enough yet to put another mortar, though. So. Oh, it looks like this is going to wrap back in, so this mortar right here is going to be doing the good lord's work over here. I may even put a mortar right here. Yeah, right here. Yeah, so it's going to cover a lot of area for us. You can focus on uh, health and then armor. Still don't have a good solution for shield yet, though. I don't think any of the turrets that I have... At, yeah, none of the turrets I have access to right now are super good against shield. So it really is only a matter of time before they wear down our defenses with shielded enemies. Like, armor, not a problem. We got that all day. And our mana levels are doing pretty good. Plus five seems to be the magic number. Yeah, we do, you can see here, we just don't have good shield damage yet. Yeah. It's just not a... Shield is shield is always been a problem for me. Like I I just discovered last night after three hours like what turret is honestly best for shield. Um, there's actually like a poison tower. Yeah, they're pretty. They're yeah. We just do not deal good shield damage. I get a lot of leak throughs here. So there's four. That uh, really took a beating on our mana supply, too. Oh, shit. More shield enemies. Damn it. Well, they're the only things that we have to focus. Yeah, we can, we can do it, but they're not the only things we have to focus. Yeah, another two leak through. This is probably our last level. But we're still doing... The mortars are doing really good work on on uh, armor and on uh, health. Like, that's what they're good at. Ballista is also really good on health, really good... Decent-ish on armor. They're, they're definitely best on health, but nothing's good on shield. Yeah, you can just focus on progress. Ooh, what are these? Those look like uh, spiders or bats or something. Gone. But again, it's the shield enemies that are pretty much left left unscathed. And thus, with like uh, without anything AOE that can deal with shields, it's just a. Uh, or it's just a matter of time before we uh, get got. But that's all right. Uh, we've made it to wave 18. I I'm really excited to show you guys all the upgrades that we can get now. You know, I can also hide the UI. It's kind of cool. Oh, man. This is it. This is it, boys. Salute our rogue tower who survived this long. Na, 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 na. Ah, bummer. Uh, let's see here. So we defended 17 waves. So that's 153 experience. And a new single defense record for another 459. That's awesome. Let's spend this XP, get some meta progress going. Upgrades. Upgrades, people, upgrades. So I'm going to grab some... Well, I guess the first thing I want to grab here 
is the poison sprayer because uh, this uses mana to spray enemies with poison over time and it's great against shields. Is there something else here that's good against shields? Oh, this is a pretty awesome thing. It's a laser tower. So for those of you who've ever played Supreme Commander Forged Alliance, it reminds me of the Monkey Lord laser. Article cannon. Ooh. Radar. Calls in biplanes to perform airstrikes. That's kind of awesome. So there's two towers I want to pick up. First one I want to pick up is the Shredder. It's a saw turret that does shit tons of AoE. It actually travels down the path to bleed enemies. It's really good. Other thing I want to grab is... I'm going to grab the Poison Sprayer, because we need some. We need an answer for shield enemies. And I will grab the poison, extra poison damage card. Over here, we're going to grab a couple of permanent upgrades, which are in the blue here. Uh, first thing I want to do is card draw. Draw an additional card, upgrade card. Super good. I want to gain extra gold. Really good. And then I want to start with an extra 100 gold. So enemies will drop plus one gold and give me uh, an additional gold per turn. Other thing I want to do is I want to grab this, Sorcery. Our tower will now generate a single mana. And I want to grab the... the mine. Though, so place this next to iron, it gives your tower plus one max hit points and a 10% chance every level to repair damage. And I want to grab the mana bank, which will generate mana for us and gain us uh, max mana. Uh, I want to do... upgrade my maximum poison per second. So that'll double the poison. So poison and status effects like fire damage and bleed and poison will only deal uh, 25 damage per tick. You can stack up a, a thousand bleed damage, but that's but that goes in a pool basically, and it'll subtract from that pool every every second and deal 25 damage or 24 damage. So if we do this, it'll allow us to deal 50 damage from that pool a tick. And, uh, did I grab anything for fire? No, I also want to do bleed. Since we unlocked two more cards, we can come over here now. And, uh, there's a couple more upgrades for it. Enemies will drop one additional gold. And, uh, you'll now generate one additional mana per second at the tower. Super good. Still got a whole bunch of experience here. I'm gonna throw some upgrades into my... Actually, let's do more bleed damage here. Leave them dry for more uh, bleed, because we will generate a lot of it with the, uh, with the blades. And more poison damage. Let's see here. Unlock one more card to uh, get an additional gold. Sure. I'm going to grab... Uh, the mortars are really good. Oh, the testicles are actually good versus shields. I didn't know that. Um, damage to health, so... I'm actually pretty okay with that. Ooh, there's permanent upgrades for these things. So let's see here, what does the saw blade permanently gain? Permanently gains plus one damage to health. That's kind of awesome. I'm not going to grab the obelisk yet. Yet. Let's do... All shredders gain 50%. They do magnetic blades. That plus one damage to armor. That should have unlocked us the ability to permanently upgrade an additional gold when they die, as well as starting with another hundred gold. Actually, I think I'm gonna grab the sorcery too, so now we generate an additional mana per second. So that leaves me with seven XP, and I don't think there's really anything I can buy for five. Orders deal plus one damage to health. So these are, so these cards here in the yellow, or the orange yellowish, these are upgrade cards that we will get uh, randomly during the game. Blue is your permanent upgrade. So these are permanently going to affect our game. Neat, huh? Well, I'd say this is pretty fun. Uh, Rogue Tower. 
Uh, highly recommend it. Again, I've sunk a lot of hours into this in a very short period of time. It is a super cool game. So, uh, with that, thank you all very much for watching, and in the next episode... Shit, we'll do, we'll do a couple more runs. It'll be awesome. So, until then, guys. Be seeing ya.